I'm Sean Boas, concert visual designer in Los Angeles, California. In this Resolum quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to set up audio reactivity inside Resolum. First, we need to get audio in to Resolume, so we're going to use something like this, a Focusrite audio interface. That's the type of device you'd use to get audio in from, say, the front of house soundboard or something out on the gig. But if you don't have that, that's okay. You can also use a microphone or uh, your built-in microphone or your built-in line-in input on your laptop. Also, at the end, I'm gonna show you how to do this using audio from within Resolume. So, lots of options, let's get started. Okay, inside Resolum, we're gonna go to Arena, Preferences, Audio, and select an input device, set it to our Focusrite. Down here, External Audio FFT Input, we're gonna select some channels, so some audio is coming in. To verify that that's happening, let's go to View, Show FFT Gain, and now we have a little waveform and our FFT gain, which is sort of our volume for the audio coming in. Now, all we need to do is link this to pretty much any parameter inside of Resolume. Let's hop in and see how we do that. All right, so now we're inside Resolume and we're going to use audio to drive the distance parameter of the shift RGB effect. If we hover over the parameter and select the cog wheel, we can change it from basic to external FFT. Now we can see audio is driving the effect, but we need to dial it in. So let's select this triangle to untwirl all of our parameters, and we're going to adjust the gain, fall, frequency, and the range in order to dial this in so that the kick drum is driving the effect. The gain is our volume and it has an effect on the intensity that the audio has on the effect. Our fall can be thought of as smoothness and it adjusts the amount of time that it takes for the value to fall back to zero. We can use our frequency toggles to select a range, low, mid, or high. For the kick drum, we're gonna select low. And then we can further dial it in using these range sliders in order to really isolate the kick drum. And we'll use this meter on the side to see our average volume and make sure that we are getting the desired effect. Now this is great, it's really tied into the kick drum, but I think it's a little extreme. So let's use our range slider on the parameter itself to dial it in to a more manageable look. And we can use our overall FFT gain to boost it or turn it off completely as needed. All right, so that is how you set up audio reactivity inside Resolume. But wait, I said I would show you how to do this with audio from inside Resolume. So let's check that out. Basically the same process, except instead of choosing external FFT, choose composition FFT. Now, if I play an audio clip from within Resolume, it will have the same effect. Okay, now you really know how to set up audio reactivity inside Resolume. Go ahead and slap that sucker on any parameter you can think of, as long as it looks cool. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, come back later for more videos. Comment down below what you want to learn next. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!